A lawsuit which accuses Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault could shed light on why more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil were found at his home. According to the court documents, the rapper used baby oil laced with rape drug GHB to make assaults easier. The lawsuit, which was filed on Monday, suggested that the drug was absorbed through the victim's skin after applying the baby oil to make them drowsy. In it, a man known only as John Doe accused the rapper of assaulting him when he was just 16 at a party in 1998. He also shared a photograph of the pair together at one of the rapper's famous white parties. Diddy has denied the accusations against him. A man accusing Sean Diddy Combs of assaulting him when he was just 16 has shared a photograph of the pair together at one of the rapper's famous white parties, Sean. Diddy Combs makes an appearance at the real white party in 2002 women, pour champagne down a third woman's throat at Combs Labor Day party at his house in East Hampton in 1998. There existed something sinister, a dark underbelly of crime, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, bribery and prostitution, the court filing stated Combs is a menace to society, women and children. Diddy denies the allegations against him. Diddy's white parties were once considered the most sought after invitation on the social scene and were attended by a constant stream of A-list stars. According to the new filing by Tony Busby, who says he is representing as many as 120 credible Diddy victims, it was also central to his alleged offending, would tell victims, this is what it takes to be famous. What are you willing to do to become a star? John Doe was 16 and living in New York City when he received a highly sought after invitation to the 1998 white party in the Hamptons. When he received the invitation, he felt like he finally had the opportunity to rub shoulders with the who's who of the industry. He thought it could be his chance to break into the music industry. The court filing read, as John Doe entered, he spotted countless celebrities and A-listers who formed the music and entertainment industry. He recognized faces he had seen on TV and on the big screen. The young boy was making his way through the crowd and heading toward the restroom when he unexpectedly bumped into Combs. The filing states, Shock, John Doe found himself face to face with Combs, a titan in the music industry, standing right in front of him at his own party. Diddy's white parties were once considered the most sought after invitation on the social scene and were attended by a constant stream of A-list stars, lawyer representing the accusers, Tony Busby. The picture shared in the court filing was allegedly taken at this moment during this interaction. The filing states, Combs took an interest in John Doe and wanted to talk to him. They walked to a more private area near the portable restrooms brought in for the party. There, John Doe told Combs he was a big fan of Combs and shared his dreams of becoming a star. Combs smiled, telling me he had potential and the look. When John Doe admitted his voice was not great, Combs assured him that did not matter. Combs abruptly told John Doe that he needed to drop his pants. John Doe was allegedly caught completely off guard by the request and asked Diddy to repeat himself. Combs made himself clear. He instructed John Doe to drop his pants and expose his penis so that Combs could inspect it, explaining it was a rite of passage in the route to becoming a star, and also as a way to prove himself. Out of fear, anxiety, and the imbalanced power dynamic between himself and Combs, John Doe then dropped his pants and exposed his penis as Combs previously instructed. The filing states, Combs moved closer and grabbed John Doe's penis and genitals with his hand. He firmly cupped and held onto John Doe's genitals for an extended period of time. Pictured, Diddy watches his Labor Day party from his balcony at his house in East Hampton on August 29, 1998. During this time, Combs moved his hand in such a fashion to manipulate John Doe's genitals, squeezing and feeling them. Doe was only 16. Busby has repeatedly stated more high profile could soon be named in suits and vowed to pursue the cases against any offender aggressively. Of the 120 people he is now representing, 25 claim they were minors at the time they were allegedly abused. In the filing, Busby said Diddy was able to target young, vulnerable people through a criminal enterprise built on his success as a rapper, record producer, and record executive. As part of his pattern of abuse, Combs manipulated both men and women 
to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with both commercial sex workers and unsuspecting partygoers. Combs has a profound contempt for women and a desire to dominate both minors and other men. His conduct shows a long-standing practice of denigrating, defeating, and attempting to humiliate women and children. Combs' attorney issued a statement to DailyMail.com. The press conference and 1-800 to number that preceded today's barrage of filings were clear attempts to garner publicity, they said. Mr. Combs and his legal team have full confidence in the facts, their legal defenses, and the integrity of the judicial process. In court, the truth will prevail that Mr. Combs has never sexually assaulted anyone, adult or minor, man or woman. He was charged with a host of sex trafficking and racketeering offenses following his September 16th arrest. Last week, a judge scheduled his trial for May 2025. Order your natural soaps and body oils, natural detox, CBD sticks and pre-rolls, vapes, hair and skincare products. 20% off at night and dayherbals.com.